32. Rebecca. The journey took weeks to complete. Finally, the old servant arrived in the faraway land where Abraham's family lived, Padan Aram. He came to the city of Nahor. Outside the city was a well. It was evening and the sun was sinking in the west. The thirsty camels kneeled by the well, eager for water. The weary old servant sat down to rest. Some young women were approaching from the city with jugs to draw water for the night. Eliezer looked at the young women and felt discouraged. Perhaps one of them was the wife he was supposed to bring back for Isaac, but which one? How would he know which one to choose? It's not an easy job, the old man thought. But he remembered what his master had told him. There was someone who could help him, someone who knew the hearts of men. The old servant looked up at the evening sky and started praying to God in a very simple and trusting way. He said, Lord God of my master Abraham, I stand here by the well as the young women are approaching to fetch water. I do not know which one to choose for my lord Isaac, but you know. Will you help me? I will ask them, let me drink some water from your jug. If one of them says, drink, and I will also give your camels some water, let that one be the wife you have chosen for your servant Isaac. That was Eliezer's prayer. When he looked up, he saw a young woman walking down the stone steps to the well. She filled her jug and lifted it to her shoulder. When she got to the top of the steps, the old servant rose to meet her. He said, let me drink a little water from your jug. In a friendly manner, the young woman replied, Drink, my lord. With her strong young hands, she offered him the jug. When he had drunk his fill, she poured the rest of the water into the stone trough next to the well. I'll get some more water, she said eagerly, so your camels can drink too. This is the one, Eliezer thought. This beautiful young woman, this friendly girl, she's the one who will become Isaac's wife. He was amazed that God had answered his prayer and helped him so quickly. When he heard that her name was Rebecca and that she was a granddaughter of Nahor, he was even more delighted. Nahor was a brother of Abraham. Eliezer pulled two golden bracelets from his baggage and put them around of Rebecca's arms. He also gave her a beautiful golden ring, the kind that young women in those days often wore in their noses. Then he could wait no longer. He had to give thanks to God for the amazing help he had received. He had to tell God how happy he was. He kneeled down to pray. The Story Bible for Older Children, authored by Anne DeVries and published and produced in this digital format by Paideo Press, is brought to you by the Cantaro Institute. All rights reserved.